Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create a saving checkpoint system. A system where you can, where you create checkpoints and uh, let's say the player arrive at stage 2 and uh, he cannot play the game anymore and he leave and uh, later he decide to rejoin the game and uh, he's, he's spawning at stage 2. So none of the progress is lost. So to do this we have to go in workspace and add here a folder which uh, we have to name it checkpoints and in it we will have to add the, the checkpoints but first let's create the first one so for this we have to spawn a part and let's size it to 10 comma 1 comma 10 so something like this and we have to rename it checkpoint 1 and here in this checkpoint we will have to add a spawn location and let's uh, put the spawn location in the checkpoint so it fits something like this and here is the first checkpoint and we will have to drag this one to, and put it in the checkpoints folder like this to, to create another one we will have to duplicate this one right here and we will have to to change his name to checkpoint 2 and remove the spawn location from it and we have here the second uh, checkpoint let's uh, move it forward and uh, we have to repeat this as many checkpoints uh, we would like to have in the game so let's duplicate it two more times and we have four checkpoints but let's don't forget to change the, the name of them checkpoint 3 and checkpoint 4 okay so now we are done with this part let's close the folder let's close the workspace too and now we will have to add a script inside server script service so let's add here and we have to rename it to checkpoint server and uh, you will find this script in the description so you can just copy it from there
Okay, and now, because we are done with the script, we can close it and we have to go to game settings and publish the game to Roblox. Let's uh, change the name to saving checkpoints system. Uh, let's disable team create because uh, we don't need it and let's save. Okay, after it's saved, hit the close button and we have to go again in game settings. And now we have to go to security and enable studio access to api services okay and now let's hit the play button so as you can see we have here in leather states stage one let's go to the next stage we are at stage two and if we stop the game and uh, we rejoin the game let's close this we will see we are spawning at stage two and our progress is saving stage three it's stage four so thank you so much guys for watching till the end of the video hope you guys like the video and everything worked well for you don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because that will help me very much and i will really appreciate you and i will see you again in a few days with a new tutorial